begin with breaking news. The All Progressives Congress has announced a list of persons in the past government they believe looted the treasury, causing pain on the development and misfortune in the country, destroying the economy in the process. The Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, released the list during a press conference in Lagos just moments ago. The names in the list revealed by the federal government include PDP chieftains who are currently being tried for corruption and financial crimes. How holistic is the list? Does the APC have the nerve to backdate its list to the 1990s and beyond? Can the APC list some of its members believed to be looters as well? Data feeds are coming through in one place simultaneously on all our social media platforms, channelstv.com and on youtube.com forward slash channelsweb. You can follow us right now on m.channelstv.com and on Facebook as well. We've got all our platforms and social media covered. Be part of the show. Tweet at Gimba Umar CTV. Use the hashtag State of the Nation to air your thoughts on the subject. In the meantime, the federal government is planning to aggressively go after tax evaders and name and shame them publicly at the expiration of the Voluntary Assets and Income Declaration Scheme evades agenda, which will end by March 31st this year. The Minister for Finance, Kemi Adeoshun, said that the federal government has the political will and data to go after tax evaders who fail to take advantage of the tax amnesty program. What response has the VAIDS program had in this time? Should the period of grace be extended or not? It's prime time here in Lagos. And this is State of the Nation. Welcome everyone in Nigeria and the rest of the world. This is State of the Nation. I am Gimba Umar. Right behind me, data feeds are still coming through on all our social media platforms in one place simultaneously. Be part of the show. Tweet at Gimba Umar CTV. Use the hashtag State of the Nation to air your thoughts. Now, the All Progressives Congress, the APC-led administration, has responded to the PDP's challenge to name the looters of the country's treasury under their watch, saying that they did not loot the Treasury. The Minister of Information, Lai Mohammed, in his words, said, quote, I am sure they know that the Treasury was looted dry under their watch, yet they decided to grandstand. This shows the holiness, the hollowness, he says, of their apology, end of quote. Now, Ebeka Ochebulam is a lawyer. He joins me from our Buja studios, as well as Victor Oche, a former speaker of the Delta State House of Assembly. He joins me from Asaba. I want to thank both of you, gentlemen, for joining us on the show at this time. Let's begin with you in Abuja. What's your assessment of this latest uh, list we are seeing from the APC of people who looted this country dry? Gimba, thank you for having me. The, what APC has done so far, for me, is a mockery of the anti-corruption program. Some of the names they mention here are already known to the public. We know some of these people who are facing trial. But it's a good beginning. What we, I will be expecting is to see APC members face trial, as well as PDP members, and those PDP people who they have not touched, to see them mentioned. They have not given us any new information. And uh, what they are trying to let us know is that those who decamp from PDP to APC become corruption free. It doesn't matter how much you have stolen, as long as you are no more a member of the PDP and you have moved into APC, then you are now a saint. You will remember, recall that there is no new member of any party in this country. All of them have either migrated from either the PDP or the AD or any other old party to APC. APC is a mixture of several people dominated by the PDP, former PDP members. 
And some of them were governors, some were ministers, some held sensitive positions, some were facing prosecution in their states. Some of their properties have been returned to them. Some okay. of the former governors in this country, the APC government have returned their properties mm. and their monies to them. Uh, let, so let me butt in here, if you will. What is going on is... If you, if you don't mind, let, let me just quickly butt in here and get the response of Victor Oche, who is uh, joining us, who has joined us via Skype in, from Asaba. Uh, this is a list that has been long anticipated, uh, which this government said that it will release at some point, and a lot of people have been actually waiting for that list. Is it sufficient, though, to limit the scope of this list to the past administration of Goodluck Jonathan? Is it a clear, sincere purpose, do you think? Yeah, good evening, viewers, and thank you, Gimba, for having me. For me, um, I think it's a step in the right direction. I mean, it's, it's fair enough that PDP could dare the APC government to release the names of, of the looters. Of course, they know, the PDP know that looters. We didn't have seen, I mean, angels who came to take away the money from our coffers. They did take away the money. But you must ac accept your responsibilities. It is not just enough to say we are sorry, but for goodness sake, Yes, the names are coming out, and more names will still come out, so let's know. Granted, there's a process, there should be a process. First of all, investigate and eventually get to a point where you convict and then uh, secure a conviction. But since they want it out as if there's nobody who did that and it's just about a, a name dropping game, let's call all the names, then we'll begin to sift them one after the other. Now, anybody whose name is called, it is the person's duty to now say, okay, now prove to me that I did steal the money. And then we go through the process and then take it from there. So now let's start it from, from, the, um, the, from the answer to the question. And, and I think it's, it's a step in the right direction. Well, I, but but I do, you believe, do you believe, does corruption go beyond theft? Because these are clear cases of, of uh, stealing from the, from the treasury of the country. Does corruption go beyond just individual theft? Of course it does. Corruption comes in many ways, of course. Uh, I mean, but if you want to name individuals who have been involved in it, who are members of the PDP, who try to claim that they never did anything wrong, of course we name them. Of course, Olubundia was out there naming, uh, saying that the federal government should name those who stole the money. They're giving him now the names. Let those who have been named come out to say we did not steal. Then let them take federal government to court and sue them for libel or whatever they want to do and then make money from the federal government. Let us be sure that they didn't steal the money. Oh, okay, well, let, me, let, let me get the thoughts of um, uh, Mr. Ochebun in our Abuja studios. In 2015-2016, the corruption index improved while growth was declining. In 2017, it deteriorated the economy slowed down in growth, that uh, a decline in growth that was recorded while corruption improved. How can we explain that within that period of time, 2015 to 2016, in comparative analysis to what has happened in 2017? Uh, you will know that so far, to say the least, this country has not been serious with anti-corruption. So instead of us, our rating, you know, increasing, we are dropping every day, we are going down. And that is the problem I have with this issue of naming people who are facing prosecution in court. We are reading about them every day. You call politicizing corruption, for me, is corruption on its own. Because what the government is doing is playing the politics of corruption instead of fighting the corruption. When you start prosecutions, they end a bail application. And we don't hear anything about the cases anymore. And then when you, when you come to national newspapers and televisions, you mention people's names. At the end of the day, behind, there is no seriousness in prosecuting them. Why won't our rating go down? And basically, people that want to invest in a country are looking at all these index to consider where they want to come to. We cannot keep behaving like children in this country. If the government is serious, they should take the anti-corruption issue as a serious business and handle uh, it. 